from the Senesac Boatyard. This boat had been exposed to the elements for many, many years, and the spray rails were in need of a lot of attention as well as the hull. The spray rails are removable and consequently were sanded, primed, and painted off of the boat. Many operations needed to be accomplished to make sure that this will be a long-standing part of the hull. As you can see, here is a primed hull and some of the uh, cracks being filled and spray rail going on. All right, here we are, Senesac uh, Marine Center. Not really much of a marine center. Uh, we'll call it the boatyard. Anyway, um, my other challenge was this spray rail. And so a lot of these runabouts have a spray rail here. And uh, this one was in really, really bad shape. This has since come off, been painted and primed and uh, a lot of attention given to detail and making sure it's nice and smooth as you can see. A lot of sanding's gone into it. My other challenge here was that at one time they had a bronze wood screw that just went in here arbitrarily and uh, I guess there was probably a wood plug in here but it wasn't really a good setup so what I've done here is I've put a wood insert over uh, on this side, a brass insert and threaded and um, inserted into this wood, this, this side and then of course ran a nice big long um, flathead machine screw that goes in here and really holds this back edge of the um, of the spray rail on. Another thing that was crazy was the fact that um, all these screws that are embedded in here along the way um, were at funny angles. So two of them had to come out, get cut off, and re-bedded, re-potted in um, with epoxy. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'll show you some of these uh, threads here that were installed by myself, potted in with the epoxy. The crooked one was the original one from the original boat builder. Here's some of the drill bits and, and burrs that I use to make the necessary holes. Of course, here is the new potted in with epoxy uh, thread. And of course, here is the threaded insert at the transom of the boat. We double check, make sure everything fits just right. What I've done here is I just basically dry fit it so that I know that it's going to go on perfectly. I'll probably add a little small um, wood screw here on the front and we're all ready to go. It'll go in with dolphinite. Dolphinite's a bedding compound and it's, um, you know, it, it keeps the water out um, and it also allows uh, this to be removed. If it gets damaged or something like that, hit the dock, hit a piling, I don't know. Um, at least it can become, uh, come off and be removed and be replaced. And this is what it's going to look like when we're finished, hopefully. Lots of varnish and shiny bits and pieces. The hull will be blue, not varnished. However, it'll look bitchin'. Yeah. A Perfect Yacht is a subsidiary of Styron Yacht Management. Thanks for watching and have a super day.